Good morning, Westminster Woods on Julington Creek, family and friends. Chaplain Leslie here, bringing you our weekly community prayer for Tuesday, May the 5th, 2020. This comes from Chaplain Taylor Phillips. She's the chaplain at Westminster Oaks in Tallahassee. And so hear this prayer from Chaplain Phillips. Everlasting God, Throughout these difficult times, we recall that you guided our ancestors and spiritual ancestors through the flood, slavery, the plague, the exodus, famines, wars, and persecutions. We remember that with your love, each generation before us has lived to see a better day. We know in our minds that we will make it through the situation before us as well, but we also humbly ask for your comfort and strength again and again with each passing day. In your name we pray, amen. And Chaplain Phillips offers up this scripture verse for us today. I have given you and all my people the entire land. I will always be with you. I will never abandon you. Joshua 1, 3 to 5. And so a beautiful prayer to begin uh, our Tuesday of this week and I would like to add since uh, Chaplain Phillips prayer was a succinct and beautiful one and I have a couple more moments to share with you all this this afternoon I'm going to take that liberty and, and offer up a poem that I found this week I was thinking about daffodils and I think it because it's such a pretty time of the year and I just love the colors of the daffodils and someone had posted uh, this particular poem. It's by William Wordsworth. It's called, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud. And I invite you to think of those pastoral images uh, that might be meaningful to you as I share this poem. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high or vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, they stretched in never-ending line along the margin of a bay. Ten thousand saw at a glance tossing their heads in sprightly dance. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A poet could not but be gay in such jocund company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth that Shumi to me had brought. For oft when on my couch I lie, in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. May you each have a wonderful and blessed day, and until next time.